Hello there. Well, I have another Beat the Heat crock pot recipe for y'all today. I already have my crock pot here and I have sprayed it so it's good and greased up so we can clean it really easy and um i have about four four to five chicken breasts is what you're going to need but if they're really thick you might want to cut them in half uh, but just make sure they're all pretty much about the same size so that they're all done have the same doneness okay you want don't want some to be really dry and some to be not done yet I have one stick of butter that I have melted in my little dish here. So what we're gonna do to get started is I'm gonna take my chicken and I'm going to just dip it into this melted butter and then I'm just gonna place it right down in the crock pot. So now we've got our chicken in the crock pot. Let me get this chicken thing off of here. Okay, now, cause I had that uh, plastic cutting board on my wooden board, so my wooden board is not contaminated, so we can just keep on going. But in this bowl, I have some good seasoning, um, zesty Italian seasoning mix. Now I've got a, one can of cream of mushroom soup, okay? cream of mushroom soup. I'm going to add it in there. And our final ingredient, this is about a third of a cup of Chardonnay. You just want a dry white wine. You don't want anything really that has a sweetness to it. So if you want to use cooking wine, that's okay. But um, this Chardonnay is really going to add a richness to this dish that um, you definitely would miss by just using a regular cooking wine. If you want to just skip the wine altogether, you always can um, replace it with chicken broth. Chicken broth would work just fine if you would rather do that. But I'm going to go ahead and pour that in there. And then, very carefully, I'm going to stir this up. Now, I am going to do a little bit of salt and pepper on my chicken. You want to be careful and not do too much salt because there is, you know, some salt in our package seasoning. So go easy on the salt, add a little bit of pepper, and I'm going to take this and I'm just going to pour this right on top of that chicken. Just cover that chicken up. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. All right, and now we're just gonna take our lid. That's it for this step. We're gonna close this up and we're gonna cook this on low for about five hours. Okay, and then um, after five hours, we're gonna come in and we're gonna add a couple more ingredients and then it will cook for another three hours. Just to let you know, when I was preparing the recipe yesterday, we had a huge storm come in and we lost all of our power for over two hours. So I had to finish this recipe today. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you see where we left off was putting the cream cheese and the onion in and letting it cook for about three hours on high. It had been cooking on low, but we put it on high to cook for about three more hours. So I just wanted to show you, um, the chicken is so tender that all you have to do is just take two forks and stick them in there and you just wanna grab your pieces, of, the big pieces of chicken and you're just gonna use your fork and you're gonna kinda of shred it like beef, you know, like you would if you were doing barbecue or something. Um, and if you wanna leave some of the pieces larger, that's totally fine, but I like to kinda of shred it up just a little bit before I put it out on our, before I serve it. 
So the next thing is I went ahead and I prepared some pasta because you serve this over pasta. Now, I have a farfalla pasta. You can use any kind of pasta. I've done this dish before with like the um, noodle pasta, you know, like the, um, oh gosh, I can't think of what they're called now, but they're, they're like a spaghetti noodle, but they're large and flat. My mind just went blank, I'm sorry. Um, I can't think of it, but you know, there's so many different kinds of pasta. Mm -hmm. You just, yes, egg noodles. That's what I was looking for. Thank you, cameraman. <laughs> um, so egg noodles, and they have the wide and the more narrow. So I've done it with that before, but really you can, you know, do this with any pasta that you like. So that's what we're gonna do. I went ahead and cooked it ahead of time. And I'm gonna put some on my plate here. I'll get back. Okay. So we have the pasta on the plate. We're gonna take a spoon and spoon out some of this deliciousness. Oh my goodness, I want you to look at this. It is so tender. It is so creamy and rich. Like you can just smell the flavors. And what I'm gonna do here is the final touch. I would love to have fresh chives, but I don't have any right now, I'm out. But I do have some freeze dried ones. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna just put on top of this dish a good amount of the freeze dried chives because yes, this I'm gonna be able to taste these, but oh my gosh, it just looks so much better. It's so pretty. You can change the looks of your dish so much, much just by adding a little bit of green to it. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna fix another one since I'm cooking for two. It's the two of us gonna eat. And you can see um, in the crock pot that there is enough here for probably one more meal. So you can just stick it in the fridge, save it for another night during the week, maybe when you don't have time to cook or you just don't feel like it, you've got a lot going on, or you can let this cool completely, put it in your freezer and you have it for the next three months if you want to, um, to pull it out when you need it. So there you have it. Here is our creamy Italian chicken pasta for two. And um, we can't wait to dig in because when you, you know how it is with the crock pot. Oh my gosh, when it cooks, it just makes your house smell so good. But it also makes me hungry. I hope that you picked up something today that you didn't know already that you can take back and use in your kitchen when you cook for your special someone. And also, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel, hit that bell so you'll be notified every time a video comes out. And if you want the full recipe, all you have to do is go to my blog at Cook It For Two. That's cookitfortwo.com. And the full recipes will be on my blog. Lord bless you.